requires uh, criminal uh, liability at civil liability. Sabi niya, di ba, pag sinabi ni Attorney Joel, pag uh, convicted ka for libel, criminal libel, at meron na laking fine, pag hindi ka makakabayad, uh, may corresponding imprisonment din yan based on the conversion of the number of years. Di ba ba? Ganun. Sabi niya, ang tanong niya, ano ang diferensya doon sa civil liability? Kung civil case ang ipapal, ang kanil na babayaran, uh, ang sabi ko sa kanya, kung wala kang perang pumbayad, kung civil, eh wala, aantayin uh, hanggang magkakaroon ka ng property. But maybe I'd like to ask the religion well to respond to that. The other thing that I'd like to mention is, I remember kasi on this discussion on civil liability na lamang, hindi criminal libel, I had a very naughty uh, client before who was urging another lawyer at ako yung nasa kabila, defending a, news, uh, a newspaper man. Sabi niya, I want to file a civil case, ayaw ko ng criminal case. Bakit? Pag criminal case, may dismiss agad pag walang malis eh. Doon uh, sa, sa ang palamang, sa fiscal's office. Pero kung civil case, I can go back to passing, file the case there against a double newsman for a civil case. Tuloy-tuloy yung kaso, he has to appear. That going to appearing in a passing case from somebody in double is already penalty enough. Hindi na bali at the end of the day, walang civil liability, pero yung pendency of the case is good enough to really penalize him. So that's the other part of the discussion of whether, kasi kung ipapile niya yung criminal case, sa fiscal sa office pa lang, nag-i-dismiss na, tingin niya eh. Pero kung civil allegation, civil case, we can file it for damages in PASIC, and the poor guy, the newspaper man, have to come to Manila every time with the lawyer. We'd like to ask comments on this. Thank you. Uh, those are very practical questions now. Um, first, um, I, want, I want to clarify that um, if a criminal case is filed, it doesn't mean that um, a civil case is not filed, no? When a criminal case is filed, there is a dual personality, both criminal nature and civil nature, no? So uh, there is the threat of imprisonment, and there is also the threat of um, being made to pay civil indemnity to the person who alleges himself to have uh, damaged uh, reputation. No? Um, now, with regard to the filing of cases before prosecutors, in our experience, it is almost always the case that when a libel case is filed, no, the prosecutors automatically file the information with the court. No? So, sabi nila sa journalist, Sabihin mo na lang sa court pay yung defense mo, no? We have rarely encountered a case where a libel complaint was dismissed at the prosecutor's level. It is almost always a certainty that the libel case will be filed in court. Um, so, well, that is the reality in uh, libel litigation in the Philippines. Yes. Yes. We have room for two more questions, after which I will charge legal fee for attorney general. Happy time. Hello, good morning. I'm Eileen Mungu, but from Cebu Daily News. You mentioned in your experience, when a libel case is filed, it usually automatically gets elevated to court by the prosecutor. I would just like to share that in experience in Cebu, and my seatmate from the house says that it's not experience in libel cases in our areas, in fact, it's very rarely that a uh, libel case does get elevated to court, it usually gets shut down. And so we're very confident in saying that we want, we would like to just remove the imprisonment aspect because the probability of getting to court that your lawyer is not doing the right job or that the, the prosecutor is getting corrupted, it's a uh, long shot if it gets to court. If it gets to court, the judges usually are very, are not are not very keen on sending a, a, a reporter or editor to uh, jail. We know the bar of evidence is higher, so we're sort of confident that if you, if it remains a criminal, like if you just remove the penalty of a fine, it's harder to get the case uh, to prosper. But a, a, a lawsuit, a civil, a civil suit for damages, is really much easier to get 
through. And for me, that is just the more frightening, uh, scarier aspect of the hotel, what we have so a uh, lawsuit on your head versus, oh, you've got a criminal case. Because you know you've got many hurdles to get through, and as long as you've got a good lawyer, you're on the ball, you don't forfeit any of your chances of defending your your case. You've got a whole lot of jurisprudence about freedom of the press. I'd rather go for that. So I'm just curious, in, you mentioned in your experience, you should get elevated to court. I don't recall a single conviction in which you sir, according to charge you've got a longer, you know, I don't recall any conviction of Lytle from Cebu. Very, very, what? A long, long time ago then, or, or, or very, really rare. Not one. Not a single one. Um, since I'm also an affiliate of the Philippine Day Choir, I know they've got a lot, organizations, a lot of uh, libraries that have been filed over the course of how many years, but I don't think they've got a single conviction. I think it's, it's a the lawyer's rate is like 99.9999% getting the case shut down prosecutor's level or it's on appeal forever until the Supreme Court. So in terms of reality check, I'm really not afraid of getting sent to jail for libel, but the irritating part is when the case is filed and the prosecutor, okay, he does elevate it to court and there's a warrant for arrest, that's the part that's very really irritating and scary because I have had a warrant server, policeman, in the lobby of my building there to serve a warrant arrest for myself, one editor, two reporters. <laughs> yes, and it's just so that you will submit yourself to the jurisdiction of the court for a court case, which of course you will do. But of course the naughty <coughs> policeman, whoever sent the guy over, is there just to, it's just for harassment, so they're in to rush and look for 50,000 pesos bail times how many people, uh, 10,000 pesos uh, bail times how many people, fight it, look for the judge, pay the darn amount, get your photographs, get your fingerprints down, just to submit to the courts, just procedural. It's not like anybody's going to run away. That's the part that's really irritating. That's why we want to get that part of a uh, prison term, etc., etc., et cetera, et cetera, jail out. But other than that, we'll take our chances in court and argue our case that uh, we are on the side of, of, of being responsible. We may have erred in something. There's no malice. We're doing it in the light of duty, in the interest of the public, etc., etc. So we really are not comfortable with removing completely uh, the, uh, the criminal nature of that because it is a crime that's committed not just by journalists but any private citizen who responsibly malign somebody. So this is not just for us, it's also for other people who feel aggrieved, other private citizens who feel aggrieved. So we don't want to also hold ourselves up like we are a special category of animals that so don't dare you know, make us um, answerable to the crime of libel. I don't think that's the right message that we should send to the public. We should say, you know, we're willing to, like any other private citizen, we're willing to answer for this, but just remove the penalty of uh, being sent to jail. We'll answer for it. If necessary, we'll pay for it. But to to restrict a journalist from you know operating and doing doing what he has to do um, is is the chill factor that we're trying to avoid. So we're trying to find this, as you said, it's a tempting middle ground. I think it's a very very reasonable middle ground that we can convince our public that we're trying to be responsible. That we're going to take our Take our chances to work also. Thank you. Thank you, Irene. Uh, maybe I'll call the lady and then I'll ask uh, Dr. Attorney General to give his two minutes. Uh, uh, with, the, with your permission, there's one, Irene. Would like also to ask. Uh, uh, yes, please. Sir, it's question is totally the same. Uh, first, because we're talking about decriminalizing libel, and we're talking about media accountability. My question is, decriminalizing libel is only good for those who are responsible journalists. How about those irresponsible journalists, since we're talking about accountability? So, what happens to those uh, who abuse their, the power of the press? Ano, ano nangyayari ko kasi, pag merong politiko, 